Hi, welcome to DTS Tech Fix. So, if you're here for your tech videos, for your DTEC units, you are in the right place. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video so that we get picked up in the algorithm. So, let's move on. We're going to start DTEC Unit 13, Website Development, and we are working on our Level 2 course for DTEC. So, let's begin. For your Unit 13 assignment, so you will be covering at least three different keys. So that's your pass, your passes, so your pass section. We are going to be working on P4, we'll be working on P5 and P6. P4, you need to work on your access list, which we are just going to briefly include in our introduction. P5, we're going to be creating a website. For us, we'll be using Geneva, but it depends on what application you will be using. You can include these in your introduction just briefly because we will be going into more details as we move up into the body of the, of the assignment. Sorry, of the assignment. So, Include it, and if you are working on a merge or a distinction, please include that in your assignment. The next section is just giving you a brief example of how you can write up the introduction. And this is just an example, guys, an example of how you can write up the introduction just to include what you will be including. <laughs> I'm be including a lot, but nice. And just to say what you will be including in the body of the assignment. These are the tasks to be covered, as I've mentioned before, P4, P5, and P6. But for your merits, P4, you're going to be completing M3, M4, M5, and D3 for assignment three. These are the criteria to be covered. You can read them, so I won't read them because I'll be going through P4, P5, and P6 in more detail. And this is only for the passes. This video is only for the passes. For P4, we are going to actually prepare our assets. We are going to be uh, also documenting these in a table format. You need to ensure that you document the source, where you found it, whatever website you found it on. You need to put the, UR, the URL there, a link here, so it shows where you got that information from. You need to say whether or not it's a ready-made or an original. A ready-made access is something that you um, actually copied from maybe another website or from um, a social media site. It does not matter as long as you did not make it. An original is something you have designed for yourself. So for example, if you had designed a logo, this here, I think they copied this one, but um, if you had designed a logo, for example, if you um, design it on a web page, a website, or in um, Photoshop, or any application that you use. As long as you did it yourself, that would be classed as an original asset. Sorry, as an original asset. You also need to document each, each asset. This um, assessment of this task P4 is an updated version of the access list that you did in assignment 2. So it's easier for you to carry over the same table and just update it as you go, delete what you've not used, and update it with whatever access you have chosen to use while creating the website. So let's move on to the next step. The next section is the developing of your website. So you're going to be creating the website. And this is just documentation to say what some of the things that you could possibly use. You're going to um, develop the website. Um, you might possibly use JavaScript. 
um, scripting, you might use HTML. It's up to you. This is just an example, guys, of what of some of the things you might use. When you have designed, sorry, created, yes, yeah, so we're implementing the design by using an application to create the website or a website designated for website development. On here is just purely an example. For us, we are using Dreamweaver, but you could use web expression, you could, be using, you could use me, you can use um, Wix, um, which is a site that you can create um, websites for free. It's up to you what um, platform you choose to use. Yeah? But for this assignment, we are working with Dreamweaver. This is an example to show the documentation. You need to screenshot all eight pages. So you're going to screenshot or snip all eight pages. Then you are going to write, you're going to type um, into the Word document what you have included on each page. So you want to ensure that you get at least for um, interactive um, assets, yes, um, and ensure that you have your form embedded, you have your um, table, you can have a um, form, a table, you need animation, you need external and internal links, which could come in the form of either a hotspot that we learned about, or a hyperlink, yes? So these are just the basics, guys. If you don't cover these, you won't pass. So ensure you have eight pages. I will say it again. You can document it like this, or any layout of your choosing. So we have arrived. Now that we have created a website, we have arrived at P6 and that's testing the website. Any great creator or web designer will know that you need to test the website's function test the website's functionality um, in order to check if the website works as intended. So you will test different aspects of it. Please use the layout of this table to create your, um, actually to complete this task, please use the layout of this table. Um, you need to have at least two to three fails and you need to document the before and the after. after. What's wrong with me today? The before and the after. So you need to document when you have identified the error by screenshotting it, and you need to document after you fix or corrected that error. And you need to just um, include in the comment section how you have done it and what errors you have fixed. You need to have at least three. This is a way to document your testing. You can also just screenshot these and paste them in your Word document. So these are all the passes. Once you've completed P4, P5, P6, then you have completed all the passes. So if you have completed in a timely fashion, then you can essentially move on to your merit pass. So to get in my next website, remember to like and subscribe. Bye.